It might not have even been a match. Mm. Well, we'll never know. I stand by our decision. Oh, our decision. Yes, our decision. We are a couple, a team. No! Come on, you must think I was born yesterday. It was your decision and you made it out of spite. Adam has his whole future ahead of him. Where is Peter? He's a middle-aged drunk and he is clinging onto the bar rail for dear life and he has been ever since I've known him. So say he did get Adam's liver. What, five, ten years down the line? He'd fall off the wagon again. So whose turn would it be to go under the knife next time? Is it going to be Simon, Bertie? How many people have to be guilted into helping him until he gets the message? It's a disease. <sighs> You're so. a disease. You just took it for granted, the period. Oh, Adam, he'll do it. Did you even stop to think what he thought, let alone what I might have to say? Peter had to be talked into it, you know? Oh, Carla. Nobody else matters in your world except you. You just snap your fingers and you expect everything to happen. Yeah, of course I do. You have no idea. But I don't... I don't blame you for putting him first. But please, can you just not act so wounded when I put my husband first too? <sighs> OK, you said your piece. Oh, Mickey, why are you acting so hurt now? <sighs> All right, Sarah, listen. If Peter does die, it won't be on you. I know it won't be on me. Oh, Carla, do you think that I need your blessing? I don't want Peter to die, but if he does, I will not regret this for a minute. And I won't regret sleeping with Adam. Good night. I bet he didn't regret it either. Really, are you sure? Do you know what? I'm not even going to tell you what he said. <laughs> of course, he told you everything you needed to hear. They always do, Sarah, but, you know... I know the truth about that night. So does he. But don't worry. He likes you well enough. Sorry? Well, you know, he, he said. You met on a whim. I mean, it didn't sound much in the way of passion, but maybe I was reading too much into it at the time, you know? Or maybe he just knows deep down he's still playing second fiddle to Gary Windass. Oh, are you deluded? You're the second fiddle. Time and time again. Peter was mad to leave Leanne. Then why did it? Oh, because you tempted him away. <laughs> and not just from her, was it? But it was from his own son, too. But there he is, ten minutes later, knocking off a barmaid half of his age. So whatever it is that you have to offer him clearly wasn't enough, was it, Carla? But now you are all he's got. And everyone knows it. That's not true. Oh, come on. Should hear what this lot say about you. Oh, but to your face, they're all lovely, but behind your back, you're a laughing stock. You're a joke, Carla, and so is Peter. That's not true. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Who 